Look who's here. Hello, Andrew. How are you? Are you looking at the grandmother who likes to read books? <laughs> <laughs> Pop Pop's funny, isn't he? Yeah. Have fun. Okay. How are you today? Good, good, good. I like it when you're happy. Yes, I do. Got my glasses off. Got my glasses on. So this book is called When the Wind Stops. And it's by Charlotte Zolotow and illustrated by Stefano Vitale. Now let me tell you about this book. This book was first written 48 years ago. 48, that's like as old as your daddy is almost. And then it was rewritten or kind of changed a little with new pictures 25 years ago and 30 years ago so it's another very old book and it does have a tear in the back but it was an accident years ago and see can you see the tape we fixed it right away because Nick was very sad that his book got torn okay this book is about sunset and sunrise okay you know what that means when the sun goes down and then in the morning when you wake up and the sun's coming up you know what that means okay the great bright yellow sun had shone all day and now the day was coming to an end the light in the sky changed from blue to pink to a strange dusky purple the sun sank lower in the long glowing clouds the little boy was sorry to see the day end. He and his friends had played in the garden. When they were tired of playing, they lay down in the grass and felt the sun on them warm and soft like a sleepy cat resting. There had been icy lemonade in the afternoon, which they drank under the pear tree and the little boy's father read him a story on the porch before he went to bed. Look, here's his daddy reading to him. Here he is playing with his friend, the lemonade, and look, a pear tree. Can you see the pears? And here they are laying in the sun. Just, I love to lay in the sun when I was a little girl. Oh, one of my favorite things to do. Now his mother came to good to say good night. Why does the day have to end, he asked her. So it can begin again, she said, look. She pointed out the window. We're high in the darkening sky. Behind the branches of the pear tree, the boy could see a pale sliver of moon. That's the night beginning, his mother said resting her hand on his shoulder, the night with the moon and stars and darkness for you to dream in. But where does the sun go when the day ends, the boy asked. Oh, the day doesn't end, said his mother. It begins somewhere else. The sun will be shining there when night begins here. Nothing ends. Nothing, the little boy asked. Nothing, his mother said. It begins again in another place or in another way. Look. Look at these buildings. This is far away in a strange looking country. And the rooster's crowing over here in the corner because day is starting somewhere else. The little boy lay in his bed and his mother sat beside him. Where does the wind go when it stops, he asked. It blows away to make trees dance somewhere else. Where does the dandelion fluff go when it blows away? You know, you get a dandelion and you go, <gasps> and all the seeds scatter and you can make a wish. It's fun, isn't it? It carries the seeds 
of new dandelions to someone's lawn. Where does the mountain go after the top? Down to where it becomes the valley. Look in the valley, there's cows. Look, and who is this down here? Can you see this? It must be a farmer. And he's got his black dog. Where do waves go when they break on the sand? Well, they're sucked back into the sea to make new waves. Oh, look at all of these. I bet you can name a lot of these fish. What is this? Starfish. Yeah. And what is this? You're so smart with um, fish and animals. I know you see them. What is this? Is that a squid? It's kind of hard to see, isn't it? Maybe it's a jellyfish. Yeah. All kinds of fish. I don't see a whale. That kind of looks like a shark to me. Is that a shark? You could tell me because you're so smart. Where does the rain go when the storm's over? into clouds to make other storms. What's this? What is this? It's a rainbow. I like rainbows. And look, here's a ship. And he's on a, the end of a storm. See the storm? And then the rain is going back up and the sun's starting to And where do clouds go when they move across the sky? To make shade somewhere else, said his mother. Look over here. This man's riding something. Do you know what he's riding? He's in the desert. See the palm trees and all the sand? And he's riding a camel. Can you say camel? That's right. Very good try. And the, uh, and the leaves in the forest, when they turn colors and fall into the ground, become parts of new trees with new leaves, said his mom. Look at them. Oh, there's a bunch of bees flying around that hole. Who is this? Can you see? It's a buck. That's a daddy deer with big horns. And look over here. There's a little man. And he's got a rake and a squirrel and a bird's nest. I think there's even... What is that? I'm not quite sure what that is hanging on there. Maybe a squirrel bird up in the sky. Oh, and look down here on the ground. Can you see the rabbit? There's a rabbit. A, a fox. There's a fox sticking his nose out. I like red fox. They're pretty, aren't they? The forest is beautiful. Here's a little chipmunk. Gracious, and another bird. This picture is just full of hidden surprises. But when the leaves fall, that's the end of some things, the little boy said. It's the end of autumn. Yes, his mother said the end of autumn is when winter begins. It's another page with a lot of hidden stuff, but it's got autumn and winter. It's got Halloween decorations and leaves falling. And then it's got Christmas decorations and a sled and a little boy in the snow and presents and a reindeer, like Santa Claus rides. And the end of winter, the little boy asked, the end of winter when the snow melts 
When the birds come back, it is the beginning of spring, his mother said. The little boy smiled. Look at this picture. Flowers and birds. Oh, and cherry blossoms. I'm sure you're starting to see those up in Washington. Wow, look at all this. And hanging flowers. And this maybe is a forsythia. And here's a frog. That's not a frog. That's lovebirds. Let's see if I can find a frog. Hmm. A dragonfly. And lots of birds. The bird, this bird's singing. Do you know right outside my window right now, lots of birds are singing? Yeah, I've been seeing many, many birds. I put up the beautiful bird feeder that you sent me for Christmas yesterday and filled it with bird seed and hung it in my best garden. And the birds like it. Yes, they do. It really does go on and on, he said. Nothing ends. He looked out at the sky. The sun was gone completely. The lovely pink clouds had disappeared. The sky was dark and purple-black. High above the branches of the pear tree shone, clearly now, a thin new moon. Oh, look at the stars. Oh, and it's, there's the pear tree again. See it? The day is over, his mother said. It's time for sleep. And tomorrow morning, when you wake, the moon will be beginning a night far away, and the sun will be here to begin a new day. So he falls asleep, and what is he thinking of? He's remembering all the things his mother told him about shifts and dandelions and suns and moons and the cows and the farmer and the rooster crowing, fish jumping out of the water, and there's the moon and the pretty rainbow. Do you like that? Do you like rainbows? I like rainbows. God made rainbows to promise us that he would never destroy the earth again with a flood. And that's a promise he keeps forever. And there's a pretty, pretty song about rainbows. And Nana can't sing very well, but I think you'll like the song. Maybe you could learn it. It goes, red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow. Sing a rainbow too. Listen with your eyes, listen with your eyes, and sing everything you see. You can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing along with me. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. See if you can learn that song. We can sing it together next time we talk on FaceTime, okay? Goodbye, and guess what? I love you. I love you. I love you. Blow me a kiss. Bye-bye.